Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video. In this video, we will be focusing on Bitwarden and Vault Warden's pass keys. Um, they finally released a the the support for pass keys, which is great for all you guys who do use Bitwarden or Vault Warden. Um, if you guys don't know what pass keys are, um, pass keys are actually a more secure way to be able to log in that doesn't utilize a username or password combo. It's kind of just a key that is on that device um, that is, you essentially use and you can unlock whether you know you have like you know touch or something else to authenticate to that um, and then essentially you can use it to authenticate to the website so it's actually stored very securely because it's essentially one place that it says hey you have to pretty much own the device or know how to you know get into it and then be able to use it on to authenticate um, where it as like a username and password that would be stored on like the database on the website itself. So if they got hacked or you reuse database, uh, reuse uh, logins in separate places, those could be um, compromised and then used again. So uh, pass keys are very great to keep you more secure, um, especially in this world where things get things information is all out in the world. So it's a lot harder to kind of be more secure. So. Um, it's finally cool to see Bitwarden and Vault Warden have that um, implemented. So I wanted to show you guys how you could use it um, and test it out a little bit um, if you haven't played around with it in Bitwarden or Vault Warden. I know Google and Apple also has their passkey stuff set up too. Um, so it's very similar to that, um, but we'll show you how you can do it with Vault Warden in my specific case because I got a self-hosted Vault Warden. So it actually does work with my self-hosted version. So, okay. Um, let's get started. So, um, the first thing that I had to do um, was update my Vault Warden. So, right now, I'm actually running the latest Vault Warden version, which is the 2013.10.0. 20, uh, um, so, if you were to actually go to Vault Warden uh, GitHub, you can see in the latest release, uh, which was five days ago, that they added passkey support. So um, if you're running an older version of Vault Warden, you should update to this latest version um, to support it. Um, but if you're running like the cloud version, uh, using the cloud version of like Bitwarden, and it's already supported and actually ac accessible for free users, um, it will essentially be the exact same thing. Um, now, uh, with that, you will need to get the Bitwarden extension. So I have the Bitwarden extension over here um, and I logged in to my Vault Warden. So I have all my Vault Warden stuff in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, go to passkeys.io. Um, so this is just a site that I, I'm going to show you just to demo how you can uh, set up a passkey for a login and use it. Um, so in this case, I will type in an email in here. Um, and then essentially it'll say, no account exists, sign me up. So with that, I'll get signed up and then it'll prompt me to create a passkey. So then we get this nice pop-up here that says pretty much I don't have anything in for this. We'll save my new passkey as a login. And then you, we pretty much have the information over here and we can see in here that we got a new login for this passkey. If we were to look into this, um, it will show you that there is a passkey created, but you can't access it. It's not like a password or like a passphrase that you could copy and paste. It's actually like uh, a backend thing in here to actually use. So you can't actually even edit it. You can, I mean, you can hit edit, but it won't change. All it says is just when it was created. Um, so the nice thing about this is if I were to sign out, I can now click the sign in with passkey and it will prompt with which passkey do I want to use. In this case, we the one that we just created, hit confirm and it will log me back in. Um, so essentially that's how passkeys work. Essentially it will just use the passkey to authenticate and you're pretty much all set. Um, if you were looking to see, you know, what places support passkeys, um, there's actually a decent list. So like Google, PayPal, Shopify, Instacart, uh, Kayak, Robinhood, so on and so forth. Um, so it's not like every site supports passkeys, um, but some your default ones might, you know, your Amazon account you could do it for, um, and a few others that are bringing support for passkeys. So um, passkeys are pretty fun. 
um, so far that I've played with. So um, I haven't tried all these sites, um, but if you're interested in just playing around with pass keys and seeing, hey, can I get it to work with my Vault Warden or Bitwarden self-hosted version? You could go to passkeys.io and just do what I did and make sure it works. So um, other than that, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, them release more features with pass keys. Um, because I think right now it's like pretty MVP um, in the in their latest release. But, you know, as we kind of go through, I'm sure we'll see some more stuff. So if you haven't already, try out pass keys. Let me know how it goes in the comments. And we'll, and we'll see how it goes. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.